In 1991, the United States went to war with Iraq to evict them from Kuwait, and that was called Operation Desert Storm. And space really was a key player in that war for the first time ever. And so you hear people talk about Desert Storm being the first space war. I don't believe that's true. I really believe the first space war was the Cold War because space capabilities were rooted in the Cold War with the Soviet Union. But it's the first war where we took capabilities and we integrated them into, into theater operations. We came out of that war and showed just how powerful uh, it is when you integrate space into other domains and, and the advantage that that provides our joint coalition forces. And so from 1991-ish or so, at the end of Desert Storm, all the way up to about 2007, almost our sole focus was on integrating space. And everything that this command did was focused on training operators to be joint warfighters that could integrate space into, into theater operations. All of that was really good, and we're the best of the world at integrating space capabilities in the fight. But in 2007, when I was deployed as the director of Space Forces at CENTCOM, something happened. And that was China shot down one of their own satellites and demonstrated to the world that they had the ability to, to negate our access to space. And that was really the wake up call, if you will, that times were changing. And we began shifting our focus from not just integrating space into the fight, but to also be, being able to protect and defend and treat space like a warfighting domain. Uh, back then, you couldn't say space and warfighting in the same sentence. It, we didn't want space to become a warfighting domain. We still don't, uh, but our adversaries have weaponized space and are, have made it so. So as I look at the evolution, um, you know, Air Force Space Command uh, brought us the best space capabilities in the world, the best trained space professionals in the world. And now because of the criticality, the scope, scale, and complexity of the threat, we needed to take it to another level. I, you know, I think there's a lot of, lot of challenges that are out there. What uh, I am comforted by that, although there are a lot of challenges, there's way more opportunities. If you were to ask me, you know, what, what do I, you know, what do I feel? Uh, it's excitement, but more so it's pride uh, for the folks that are in this command. Uh, I have been part of this command, as I said, for 27 years. I get the opportunity to sit in meetings at the highest, the very highest levels of, of our nation's government. And I get to see firsthand just how much the folks here in this, in this building are valued and the capabilities that they operate, and support and protect and defend uh, are valued. And, and to be able to sit there and represent uh, the probably close to 18,000 airmen assigned to Air Force Space Command is an honor of a lifetime.